It really is a great honor to be here today to celebrate along with you, with friends and family, the memories, the work, uh, the life of a great legal icon, an accomplished author, my friend and brother Silk, Deji Shashembo, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. As, as with many of us here, Deji and I shared a friendship, and I must say that it was not in any way affected by the vast difference in our heights. <laughs> Deji was, of, as you know, one of the tallest lawyers of our time, six feet seven, I believe he was. And I, well, let's just say I am still growing. <laughs> the times we shared were filled with laughter, but also with deep reflections on the great challenges that confronted and still confront our profession and our nation. His passion was legal publications, and he lived it, he breathed it. Deji's publications of the Nigeria Supreme Court cases, NSCC, uh, the Shashebo Encyclopedia of Nigerian Laws, the Companies and Allied Matters Act, Law and Practice, you know, and so many others. Of course, we've heard Shashebo on election petitions, etc. are not just reliable legal tools for practitioners and scholars alike, but they contain on every page painstaking commitment, rigorous thinking, and an incredible amount of physical and mental hard work. I know this because I was involved from the very beginning of uh, Deji's journey into legal publications. Very early in the 80s, I believe it was about 1983 or so, when he conceived of the idea of the Nigeria Supreme Court cases, uh, he shared this vision with a few of us, his friends. Uh, he wanted to be the first to publish a full report of all Nigerian Supreme Court cases, all Supreme Court decisions, a comprehensive uh, report of all Nigerian Supreme Court decisions. <laughs> Eventually, Chief Ganifa and the SAN of blessed memory got into that same race with him. So it really was a race between Deji and uh, Chief Ayemi, who would be the first to publish his comprehensive uh, compendium of all of Nigeria's Supreme Court cases. He shared the vision uh, with such passion, you know, and you simply couldn't resist agreeing to work on the project with him. I saw him put everything he had into it. We all had no choice, you know. We worked with him night and day at the office on the Kurudu Road. We worked overnight many, many times, slept in the office there, worked night and day, and of course, Oge was around uh, to give us coffee or a snack every once in a while. Did you won that race as he won so many others, you know, and the NCC became the first comprehensive report of all Nigerian Supreme Court cases. And this is the way that he worked on all his publications. So much diligence, so much dedication. As editor-in-chief of the DSC uh, Publishers Limited, Deji dedicated his life to the documentation of judicial precedents and indelible legacy in the Nigerian legal system. That, and I believe generations yet unborn from within and outside the country will benefit from it. His contributions to uh, online reporting has brought about ease, speed, and accuracy in an unprecedented manner. As of 1983, very few people had seen computers, but did you had a whole room full of computers, huge workstations. I mean, those things were giant things at the time, you know. Working with them was, you know, I mean, possibly as, work, as difficult as working manually, but they, they produced the results. So the very early use of technology you know, to do uh, publications of any kind. Deji, again, was one of the pioneers of that. So what better way to celebrate such an icon in legal scholarship than by, than by bringing to life yet another of his contributions to the Nigerian legal jurisprudence. 
anyone who has had a, an opportunity to take a look at uh, the Judicial Dictionary of Nigerian Law will see, you know, that, you know, just as Coin uh, uh, has said, uh, definitions of over 150 terms, 50,000 terms, as rendered by our Supreme Court, and the articulate take of the author on those terms. And then a lot of that will attest to the nature and character of Deji's work. He's always epitomized quality and high standards. And I believe this dictionary is not just an indispensable tool for the legal profession and for legal scholarship, but it will also provide you know, so, many, uh, new, so many new ways of looking at some of the old terms and terminologies that we come across regularly. I believe it, um, I, that uh, this publication also is one that we'll find that it takes us through the distinctions, the terms, the effects, and application in practice. The truth is that DG has always been so thorough, so, so thorough, and never was satisfied with anything that just was not the best. So for everyone who worked with him, I mean, many of them grew gray very, very, very quickly. I must say that uh, a lot of my own gray hair, you know, and I'm not <laughs> blaming my dear friend for what has become, you know, uh, practically all gray. But frankly, I mean, if you worked the way that you worked and made sure that everybody around him worked, uh, you really ended up with a lot of gray hair. Okay, I really commend you and congratulate you. Uh, and by the way, Oge okay also had plenty of gray hair very early. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulate you on your th on, and your team for this very thoughtful venture. Uh, I think that it is very, very thoughtful indeed to ensure that we bring this uh, particular set of uh, th th this particular set of volumes that he worked so hard to uh, bring to the world before he died. That you worked on it and you brought it right uh, to completion. The world will forever remain grateful to you and your family for selflessly sharing DG with us and for your family's contribution uh, to this shaping and growth of legal jurisprudence. As many of the testimonies today attest, uh, this extraordinarily calm, warm, kind, and humble human being who departed at the unripe age of 63 had positively touched the lives of so many. Who would forget the generous discounts and flexible payment plans offered by DG to us and to young lawyers wishing to purchase his law reports, or his secret giving to the needy? His was a life of compassion, and his immortality is assured not only in the contributions of our profession, but also in the hearts of so many who fondly remember his humaneness and his generosity. Deji's legacy of hard work, innovation in legal publishing lives on. But what uh, gladdens my heart, and I'm glad that uh, Kwanya alluded to it, is that he found the Lord Jesus Christ before he died. So we are confident that he now lives in peace and joy eternally. God bless you, Obey. Thank you very much. Thank you.